music with Mr. Eldred, even though he is not in the room. Music with Mr. Eldred. It's a video link. It's a little like Zoom. Yeah. Good morning, the early years. Good morning, nursery. Good morning, reception. Good morning, the early years. I hope that you are well. Good morning, the early years. I hope you're doing swell. Good morning, early years. It's Mr. Aldridge here, and I hope you're doing very well wherever you are. You could be sat in your classroom in your bubbly, bubbly, bubble, bubble, bubbles. Or you could be sat at home in your homey, 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 homey homes. Wherever you are, a big hello to you. I miss you and hope to see you all very, very soon. Today we're going on another adventure. This whole term we've been exploring what a wonderful world we live in. I'm going to start off this morning by looking at our wonderful world song. I know some of these words are a bit tricky. I know that. But we are reception. We can do amazing things. And I bet you by the end of this term you'll know most of those words because you always impress me how brilliantly well you do with such things. But we've got a few jobs to do before we get onto that stage. First of all, we're going to sing our early years song. And it goes... We are the early years. We are the early years. Girls and boys. Girls and boys. Making good friends. Making Making noise, and today's noise is where are we going today? Where are we going today? Where are we going today? Well, we'll soon find out. Playing nicely, playing nicely with the toys, with the toys. We are the early years, we are the early years. Girls and boys, girls and boys. Hooray, 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 hooray. Stop that guitar. Now, I'm going to do a Walla Walla What's Our Name game as well, because um, I know there's more of you in now. There's about 15, so I've had to redo it to include everybody. So starting off with the members of staff, you're going to be the first ones, Walla Walla What's My Name, and you're going to say Brian or Dave or Brian Dave. It's a double barrel name. <laughs> or whatever your name is. So staff first, we'll have uh, the teacher or the TA, or maybe there's both. I don't know what's happening in these bubbles. And then we're gonna do 15 while well I've our name, and then we're gonna start the lesson properly, or in earnestly, as they might say. So, I'm gonna start off by saying, Walla Walla, what's your name? Teacher TAs, you ready? Walla Walla Walla, what's your name? Very good, well done you. Well, well, what's your name? Yeah, now I think we should be going on to the children. Fifteen in total. Let's see if I can count. Ready? Here comes number one. One, two, three. Walla Walla Walla, what's your name? And what's your name? And what's your name? Walla what's your name? And what's your name? And what's your name? That's six. Walla what's your name? Seven. And what's your name? Eight. Walla what's your name? Nine. Hopefully I've got 15 there. Hope my counting wasn't too bad. Now, we're going to look at what a wonderful world we're living. I know that's your big topic. And we're learning this song by Louis Armstrong. Now, Louis Armstrong, let's learn a few facts about Louis Armstrong this week. I'll do a little presentation coming up in a minute. But before we do that, let's have a look at the song itself. A wonderful world. Wonderful world, beautiful people. That's what you are. So, it starts off, I see trees of green, red roses too, I see them bloom for me and for you. And I think to myself, what am I thinking, children? Yay! Whoa, 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 whoa! So, let's do that first verse. It says, I see trees of green, red roses too, I see them bloom. to myself, what a wonderful world. Can anybody remember the second verse? The second verse says, 
oh, it's about blue skies, the sort of holiday skies you get, the holiday, wonderful blue skies you get in the summer. It says, I see skies of blue, and hanging in those blue skies are clouds of white, and clouds of white, it says, I see skies of blue, and clouds of white. The next bit is impossibly hard, it says, the bright blessed day, the bright blessed day. Can we say that? The bright blessed day. The dark sacred night. The dark sacred night. And I bet you all know this bit. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. So the second verse says, I see skies of blue. What a wonderful world. And then the next bit is my favourite bit. It says, The colours of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky. Also on the faces of people going by. Isn't that lovely? Should we do that again? The colours of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky. Are also on the faces of people going by. And it says, I see friends shaking hands. Say, how do you do? They are really saying my favourite three words. I love you. Isn't that wonderful? Make somebody's day, tell them you love them today. I don't mean, I love you. Don't go like that, but I mean, if you, there's somebody that you really appreciate, go and tell them how much you like them today. Let's spread a bit of love around the world. And then the final verse says, uh, it talks about babies crying. I hear babies crying. I watch them grow. They'll learn much more than I'll ever know. And I think to myself, yeah, oh, what a wonderful world. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. Well, how did you get on? This time, let's pretend we're real recording stars like Louis Armstrong. Let's sing it with a beautiful backing track. See how many words we can remember. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them blue. For me and you And I think to myself What a wonderful world I see skies of blue And clouds of white The bright blessed day The dark sacred night and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of people going by. I see friends shaking hands. Say, how do you do? There is a sin, is I love you. I hear babies cry. I watch them grow. They'll learn much more than I'll ever know. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world Yeah, I think to myself What a wonderful world Oh yeah 
music with Mr. Eldred, even though he is not in the room. Music with Mr. Eldred. It's a video link. It's a little I zoom. Yeah. Well, last week we had an amazing journey into the jungle. Do you remember? We did jungle, jungle. We are going to the jungle, a jungle, a jungle. We are going to the jungle. And then we met different animals in the jungle. Do you remember that song? I wrote it last week and actually I've been singing it all week so it must be quite a catchy one. I hope you've not been singing it in your sleep. But if you have, that's good practice, isn't it? So let's, before we go on our new adventure, let's just remind ourselves of the song. It says, Jungle, Jungle. We are going to the jungle. Jungle, Jungle. We are going to the jungle. Do you remember that chorus? Have we got that good? Are you all singing it? You're swaying your arms, a bit of movement maybe for this one. Here we go, let's go. Jungle, Jungle. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Jungle, jungle. We are going to the jungle. Jungle, jungle. We are going to the jungle. And then we met some animals. Do you remember some of the animals we met? I think first of all it was the monkeys. Do you remember them? It says, perhaps we'll meet. Monkeys, what noise does a monkey make? Do you remember the noise a monkey makes? One that makes a boo 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 movement, you do it. It goes boo 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 boo. That's the noise a monkey makes. So it goes. The monkey's ready. Perhaps we'll meet a monkey. What noise does a monkey make? Ready? It goes boo 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 boo. That's the noise a monkey makes, yeah! You're saying jungle, jungle We are going to the jungle Jungle, jungle We are going to the jungle And remember the next creature we met? It was a beautiful big cat with big stripes and a big orange body Remember who that was? It was a tiger. Roar. You ready? Here we go. So it says Jungle, Jungle. We are going to the jungle. Jungle, Jungle. We are going to the jungle. Perhaps we'll meet a tiger. What noise does a tiger make? It goes roar, 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 roar. That's the noise a tiger makes. Yeah. And the third verse, mm. we met the monkeys, we met the tigers. Oh, it was a a slithery thing. It was a a wiggly waggly one. No, it wasn't that, was it? It was a snake. Very good, a snake, you're right, I was wrong, snake, you're right. It said, perhaps we'll be a snake, what noise does a snake make? Can you remember that really quick thing, a bit different to the rest of the song? What noise, perhaps we'll meet a snake, what noise does a snake make? Do you remember the noise? It goes, that's the noise a snake makes, okay. That's the third verse, and if you remember the last uh, animal we met, it was a, a beautiful parrot up in the trees, living in the jungle, and the parrot went, oh, squeak, squeak, squeak. I guess you could go, pretty, 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 who's a pretty girl then, who's a pretty boy then? You do anything like that, you make parrot sounds, okay? So you meet the parrot. Jungle, jungle. We are going to the jungle, jungle, jungle. We are going to the jungle. Here we go. Perhaps we'll meet a parrot. What noise does a parrot make? It goes. Well, that's the noise the 
bar and make some music you do, you can go ah, 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 do that on your nose, you want to. Perhaps we'll eat a parrot. What noise does a parrot make? It goes That's the noise a parrot makes. Okay, everybody. Wow. Wow. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, jungle. Well, I'll turn to your partner and say, You are a superstar. And you are the best by far. Yes, indeed, you are a superstar. Have you seen Mr. Aldrich's car? He likes to travel very far. And now it's time to take an adventure. We've been to the jungle. Now we're off to the desert. Can you believe it? The desert. I even made a very poor desert joke last week about my favourite desert being lemon meringue pie. <laughs> I've had countless postcards about my hilarity. Uh, but this week we're off to the desert. So what do we need for the desert? Mm, uh, well, what do we need for a big adventure with Mr. Aldridge? Mm, can you remember? We need a countdown. You know, we need a countdown. And we need a special car, a rocket ship like you have never seen. Run VT, you know this bit. Get ready for your countdown. Where are we going? Where are we going to land? Is it in the sea? I think it's going to be in the sand. First of all, you need to put your hands like this, and then you have to make these noises. I don't know why, it's just fun. Let's do that again. Are you ready? And then you've got to say, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, blast off! Where are we going? Where are we gonna land? Is it in the sea or is it in the sand? I hope it's somewhere really cool so I can tell my friends when I'm back at school. So here we are, landed in the desert. I've got to say, oh, it's really warm, and it's, oh, it's really dry, it's so hot. Well, the truth is, it got so hot, and it got so dry, I had to come indoors. This is my little desert hut. Uh, it looks a bit like my music room at home, doesn't it? In fact, I have these little rooms all around the world. They look all the same, just to make me feel at home. So it was hot, and it was dry. And then I looked out the window, and I saw the most extraordinary thing. There was a camel, the likes of which I have never seen. Most camels have two humps. Some camels have one hump. This camel, I do declare, had 10 humps. And it turns out her name was 10 Hump Alice. That's what they used to call her down the community center for camels uh, when she went to the youth club there. 10 Hump Alice. 10 humps. But the most extraordinary thing about 10 Hump Alice was the fact she had a song written about her. I mean, I know I've got my song, Mr. Elgin, but I had to write that myself. This is a famous song about um, Ten Hump Alice, and I wonder if you know it. I certainly hope you're gonna join in with it. It's a lovely song, and it goes like this. It's a counting song, basically. It starts off with Alice the camel has 10 humps, then nine, then eight, then seven, then six, then five, then four, then three, then two, then one, then zero. So, it's a bit like a countdown we did earlier for the space rocket to get in this desert in the first place. It's still very hot in here. Um, so let me sing it to you and see if you can carry on. Each time we take away one. I know you're very good at your numbers and taking away numbers, taking away one from a number in particular. So let's sing this together. It goes. Yeah. Alice the camel has ten arms. Alice the camel has ten arms. Alice the camel has ten arms. Go, Alice, go. I said, go, Alice, go. Sounds a bit bluesy, a bit jazzy. I bet Louis Armstrong would approve this one. So you had ten humps, take away one hump. Have ten, take away one. Nine! One, two, three, four. Alice the camel has nine humps. Alice the camel has nine humps. Alice the camel has nine humps. Go, Alice, go. It's very good. Take one away from nine. 
five, six, seven, eight. Well done. You got the answer before I did. Alice the camel has eight homes. Alice the camel has eight homes. Alice the camel has eight homes. Go, Alice, go. I want to make things seven. Magnificent seven. Alice the camel has seven homes. Alice the camel has seven homes. Alice the camel has seven homes. Go, Alice, go. Take away one from seven and you've got. Six! Alice the Camel has six homes. Alice the Camel has six homes. Alice the Camel has six homes. Go, Alice, go. And now we're down to the digits on one hand. We know it's five. You take one from six, you get five. Then be four, then three, then two, then one. Then zero. Okay, so start on five. Alice the camel has five arms. Here we go. I said, Alice the camel has five arms. Alice the camel has five arms. Alice the camel has five arms. Go, Alice, go. So it's five. Take one away, it's four. Alice the camel has four arms. Alice the camel has four arms. Alice the camel has four arms. Go, Alice, go. Really getting near to the end now. Take one away from four and you've got three. And three is the magic number. Alice the camel has three arms. Alice the camel has three arms. Alice the camel has three arms. Go, Alice, go. Take one away from three and you get two, you and me. Yeah. Alice the Cow has two homes. Alice the Cow has two homes. Alice the Cow has two homes. Go, Alice, go. Then you say one away from two. You are one. Alice the Cow has one home. Alice the Cow has one home. Alice the Cow has one home. Go, Alice, go. Alice the camel has zero humps. Alice the camel has zero humps. Alice the camel has zero humps. Cause Alice is a horse. Hey, hey, I don't believe it. Oh, so much for ten hump Alice. She was just a horse all along. Not there's nothing that isn't special about being a horse, because that's being special too, isn't it? Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, Ten Hump Alice and singing in Alice, uh, the camel has ten humps. And whew, I tell you what, hold on, phone call. Yes, yes, there's a storm approaching in the desert, a stormy desert of the windy variety. Whew. I said, what, yes? Take shelter quickly. Get back to school as soon as we can. <gasps> I think we better make our way back. There's a storm approaching. Where are we going? Where are we gonna land? Is it in the sea or is it in the sand? I hope it's somewhere really cool. Ooh, we've landed back at school. Phew! Thank goodness we got back to school before that big wind got us. Whew. Don't want any wind in school, do we? No, thank you. Well, sadly, this time say goodbye to the early years, and I shall see you next week for another adventure. But before we go, let's sing our song that we learnt when we learnt all about Chinese Mandarin. And it's a little song saying goodbye, but in Chinese Mandarin it says Zai Zhen. Zai Zhen. You know this one. I sometimes get the words wrong, I believe me. There's only three words in it. It says, Zai Zhen, Zai Zhen, I've got to go again. Zai Zhen, Zai Zhen, I've got to go again. I don't know why I have to say goodbye. Zai Zhen, goodbye, Zai Zhen. Zai Zhen, Zai Zhen, I've got to go again. Zai Zhen, Zai Zhen, I've got to go again. Saying goodbye in Mandarin Chinese all across.
across the school, all across that end. Can we actually reach China? We've got people singing. Here we go. Zajen, Zajen, I've got to leave again. Zajen, Zajen, I've got to leave again. I don't know why. I've got to say goodbye, Zajen. Big deep voices. Goodbye, Zion. Goodbye, early years. Until next week. Music with Mr. Eldred, even though he is not in the room. Music with Mr. Eldred. It's a video link. It's a little I zoom. Yeah.